channel and how I get down occasionally then you already know sometimes when a new palette drops especially if it's one of the more pricey palettes I like to try and talk myself out of buying it <laughs> and I like to share that experience with you guys just in case some of you guys might be on the fence or maybe you're not sure or maybe have forgotten about certain palettes that you might already have in your collection that kind of give you the same feels as the palette in question. Okay, so the palette that I'm talking about today is the new Natasha Denona Retro Palette. Now, when I first saw this palette, sneak peeked, um, I wasn't really sure exactly what the vibe was gonna be because some of the pictures that I saw leaned a little more warm tone and then I saw some more pictures and they were like straight up looking cool tone. But, you know, I knew it was like a very mauve kind of like, has like that gray kind of cool tone feel to it, berry looking palette. <laughs> and so I was like, it's pretty, <laughs> you know, it's pretty. I mean, you'd be hard pressed to find a Natasha Nadona Denona palette that's not pretty looks absolutely beautiful with the sleek packaging amazing quality yada 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 we already know okay um but this what is it the midi size 65 dollar palette if i was to purchase this palette it honestly would be just because i want to add it to my natasha denona collection of palettes that are collecting dust currently because i really don't use them you guys know I'm ride or die for my indie brands. I love my indie brands, but I do love prestige brands and palettes and whatnot because I like to compare stuff and I like to try stuff out. But anywho, so yeah, if you're familiar with my channel, you already know that I'm about to sit here and go through some of the palettes that I feel give me like the same type of vibe or that I know I can use and it'll basically give me the same type of look, color story, whatever on my eyes and while I know you know they're not the same quality as Natasha Denona you know they probably you know they don't blend out as smooth the shimmers might not show pop as much everybody doesn't have Natasha Denona money okay so we are like on different budgets different planes people have different priorities and things to do okay so I'm just gonna go through <laughs> some of these palettes that I just happened to come across when I was talking to my girl. I was like, um, I don't remember if she asked me if I was buying the palette or I asked her if she bought the palette, you know, because we all was kind of looking at it like, it's cute, you know, it's cute. But, you know, I'm just trying to chill. And so anywho, the topic came up and I started digging through my collection like I always do, trying to force myself not to buy it. So. I have a few palettes in front of me that I feel like if you are really just looking to buy this palette because you like the color story, you might already have some palettes that you can kind of combine, mix together, you know, finagle, freak, or even get the same look that you would get using this palette because I never use every shadow in a palette. <laughs> I might gravitate to the same four or five shadows in a palette and the rest never get used by me. So if I have a palette that has those same four or five shadow four or five shadows in it, I'm straight, you know what I'm saying? So let's just get started. Okay, what I want to do though for this Natasha Denona retro palette, it says here, a midi-sized must-have eyeshadow palette. And I would agree. 
if I didn't have all these other palettes, okay? Featuring 15 romantic burgundy, mauve shades combined with gray browns, taupes, dusty roses, and vintage pink. Vintage pinks. Why can't I talk today? Perfect to create romantic retro inspired looks. Okay, got it. So, you know, that's a very wide, vast range of shadows in this palette for us to choose from. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start looking at these palettes. I'm going to turn on this fan, y'all, because I am hot. So y'all going to hear a little buzzing, but it's hot. Okay, so this first one here, <laughs> the Mauves by Juvia's. Okay. Now, this palette, very small, six pan palette, okay? So, of course, not your same, what is this, 15 pan palette. But if you're someone who only uses like three shades to create a look, then this might work for you if you already have it. If you don't, it's way less expensive. But same beautiful vibe, colors, you know, it doesn't have all the shades so you might want to add like a black to deepen something up or like a silvery type you know mauvey shade to kind of give you a pop but i feel like this will do the trick okay next this is one of my favorite palettes and i forget about it all the time my girl lily sent this to me it's the melt cosmetics she's in parties palette now, this palette right here, this palette creates a beautiful purpley, mauve burgundy eye look. I mean, it don't look like much, but honey, this palette is bomb. I love it. And I feel like if you have this, you know, you probably will finagle the same type of eye look if you already chose this palette because you like the color story. Okay, next. This one you know, slightly different, but this brand is known for coming out with burgundy, mauve toned palettes. Huda Beauty, okay? Like, <laughs> it seems like that's all she knows is the mauve burgundy, nude tone, nude type palettes. So, this palette is absolutely gorgeous, and I actually really, really love this palette. The shimmers are amazing. It doesn't have, you know, the depth of the Natasha Denona palette, and it doesn't necessarily have that gray toned feel to it, but if you really just like mauves, you know, and the dusty rose type shades, then if you have this, I don't think you really need that. Since we're talking about Huda Beauty, let me just run through some of my other smaller palettes that give me that same type of mauve look. This one here is the Mauve Obsessions from Huda Beauty. So this one is a smaller palette. It leans more towards that burgundy, dusty rose type vibe. A little warmer, you know, but as she describes her palette, and I'm going by her description, she did add in that burgundy feel to it, dusty rose and stuff. Um, but when I use this palette, it definitely gives me a mauve burgundy type look i don't know how the mauve comes into play i think this shade right here is what turns my looks into mauve <laughs> but yeah this one for sure gives the same type of look now this one here is kind of tricky this one is the huda beauty huda boot huda booty come on girl the huda beauty nude palette so when you look at this you really see more of the kind of pinky burgundy dusty rose you don't really get that mauve type vibe or maybe you do i don't know it's like sometimes i see colors that aren't in there and sometimes i don't who knows you know everybody can see something different sometimes but over here you do get some depth with the mauve type shades but you get the pretty dusty rose type situation in there and trust me when i use this my eye look comes out looking mauve dusty, rosy, burgundy, same vibe. Now this palette here has a shade in it that's really nowhere in line with the Natasha Denona palette because it's so freaking bright. <laughs> but I still have the berry vibe here. This one is the Nabla Cutie palette, the Wild Berry. Okay, so some of you guys might have this out there. 
and I feel like this shade right here takes it to another level. Now, I would like this palette maybe even a little more just because of that shade. It's super duper bright pink and it's absolutely gorgeous, that fuchsia shade. But these other shades around here, the berry tone shades in this palette make me feel like, hey, you know, I can mix this with a little bit of depth, a little bit of mauve pop and I'm good to go. Now y'all know I had to throw this palette in here because I immediately thought of this palette when I saw this one drop, okay? This is the ABH Modern Renaissance. Um, you know, like, <laughs> this palette for sure, it's so funny because I have this palette. I don't use this palette, don't gravitate towards this palette. Like, this palette just looks so freaking boring to me. But it's basically kind of like that same, you know, burgundy, um, rosy, mauve whole bunch of neutrals over here vibe, you know, doesn't have the depth, I don't think. I think that's a, like a really, really, I know that that matte is super deep, that shimmer, a couple of shimmers are super deep, so it doesn't have the same amount of depth. But maybe you're someone who doesn't really like to go that deep with your eye looks. If you're just doing regular everyday looks for work or, you know, you don't like your eyes to go so deep and you have the modern renaissance, then girl, you straight, honey, you straight. Now this palette here, I went back and forth and back and forth because I was like, this palette or these shadows seem very, very warm okay with this burgundy background this is the wine and only from ColourPop okay but this palette very very burgundy it has this kind of like you know this shade in there very pretty but it's very very burgundy and then it has like these strange kind of like brown taupey type shimmers in here so I don't know, it's like it's burgundy, but it still kind of has some different type vibes in here that give me that taupey type feel. And I'm really not sure if I feel like this palette pulls more warm because of the background of this palette. Like if these shadows were on a black background, would I feel a little differently? I don't know. But anywho, it's a burgundy tone palette if you kind of like this vibe more so than the cool tone berries and stuff from the Natasha Denona. I don't know. It ain't the same, but you might prefer this one. And you guys, I'm sorry if I actually show some palettes that are not available anymore. I know ColourPop comes out with <laughs> palettes every five minutes and some, you know, hang around and some don't, but I have a few more ColourPop palettes that kind of give me the same type of mauve burgundy feel. This one here, this is Menage a Moi, okay? I love this color story. It's so gorgeous to me every time I look at it. And honey, it ain't nothing to write home about at all. It's nothing special. It's nothing like, oh my goodness. It's just so pretty to me. And I don't know why. Maybe it's this metallic background. They just did a really good job with the packaging. But I love this color story. And honey, listen, if this doesn't give you like the same type of vibe, feel of the Natasha Denona at a much more affordable price, <laughs> okay? A much more affordable price, baby. I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, all it needs is a little depth, a few darker shimmers or whatever to go along with it and you're good to go. But this palette is so pretty to me. I, I don't know. I need to use it because I haven't even used it yet. And it's gorgeous. Okay, now this one here, the Flutter By from ColourPop. When I used this, look at the packaging. When I used this, oh my gosh, I fell in love with the eye look that I created. Now this one here, a lot lighter, a lot softer. Um, but it's still the same basic vibe. It's still the same basic feel, basic color story with the mauves, the burgundies, you know, the dusty, light, light, dusty rose. And when I used this, I was pretty surprised because, you know, it doesn't really look all that black girl friendly. 
but I created a gorgeous look with this and it was really really pretty so yeah this palette here if you have it like I said pop a few deeper shades with it and you're good to go it has some really pretty lighter shimmers in here absolutely gorgeous now another palette from ColourPop obviously it's so funny because you don't even think that you really like a certain color scheme or color story until you look through your collection and realize you keep buying it over and over again but this one is the bye bye birdie from ColourPop and you know their palettes are all just like slightly different okay this one as you can see has the bright pops of pink in there so it takes you more into that kind of like bright magenta fun you know adventurous kind of you know direction with these shades so it doesn't give you like the more cool tone deeper um what is it like mauvey gray tone type shades but it's still in that burgundy mauve you know dusty rose type family just with some super bright pops of pink in here so maybe this might be more your speed like for me this would be more my speed <laughs> okay so really really gorgeous palette okay so this one here from rude cosmetics this is the roaring 20s carefree palette i bought this palette um along with gosh i can't think of the name of that palette it's the more colorful one i'll put it on the screen but it's the more colorful palette i did a look with oh my gosh i love that palette this one i feel like i will love this as well because i really love the formula in the other one and i haven't used this one yet though and it's only because you know the color story is not something that i gravitate to on a regular basis but if you look at this palette you know i mean come on it's very very close it doesn't go as deep that's the one thing that i will say about a good portion of these palettes is that they don't quite go as deep but if you're talking about matte you can always deepen stuff up with a black a dark gray a super dark brown you know if you have other options in your makeup you can always deepen up a look with those shades so now when we're talking about the deeper darker shimmers that's a little you know a little harder to kind of dupe out and find palettes that have that in it because a lot of times the really pretty deep dark plums and reds and berries and stuff a lot of palettes don't have that so yeah I mean I'm not sitting here saying don't buy the Natasha Denona I'm just trying to help you out if you know you won't really feel like you need that okay <laughs> so yeah so this palette has you know the berries the burgundies the dusty roses the neutral stuff pretty shimmers and mattes really really gorgeous so yeah and Rude Cosmetics um it's pretty affordable they have sales and stuff like that discount codes I believe so yeah I like their formula now since we are talking about different you know people's price ranges and budgets and stuff like that I know there's some people out there that really like the Revolution palettes they're not my favorite <laughs> I mean I have quite a few of them but their formula is not my favorite but if you happen to like their formula or this is your budget range and these uh, shadows work for you because I don't hate them. They're not like the worst shadows in the world, but they're not the best. Of course, nowhere near Natasha Denona. But if you know how to finagle and maneuver around a shadow, honey, you know, do your thing. You use... Um, the right type of primer the right type of tools brushes bases whatever you know you can you can get in there so this one here as you can see really on the lighter range of the whole berry mauve types range and scope once again but these palettes you know they have some really pretty shimmers as well as still 
having making a mess here but as well as still having um you see there they're very pretty so you can definitely get a beautiful gorgeous burgundy tone look out of this palette i don't know how much mauve well you know what i'm always basing it on my skin tone of course but i know there's a lot of um fair skin beauties <laughs> that watch me as well and this side of the palette would actually really show up on you <laughs> you know as far as like the topes the cool tone um gray looking mauvey looking situation over here this you know would be a playground for some of you guys but you know you mix in this shade here it will look a lot darker on you than it will look on me so it just kind of depends on who's using the palette how you're using it and what you're using it for but quite honestly same type of vibe okay and the shadows are not that bad that's how they look very very pretty you know so yeah revolution can really um you know be just fine honey be just fine Okay, you guys, I only have a few more to go. I'm almost done. Now, this one here, my LA Girl Hot Hot Heat. Okay, they have come out with quite a few of these style palettes. Um, I think when they are on sale, they're typically about 14 bucks, but full price is maybe like 20 bucks, I think. And this one is called Vacay Every Day. And it's it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Look at this palette. Look at the color story, look at the vibe, you know, same type of feel. This one has some more of the warmer type neutral shades in here as opposed to like the taupes and, you know, the gray tone shades or whatever. But honestly, like with the beautiful purples, lavenders, it even has this gray in here to kind of cool it down. You know, this might be a color story that you actually, you know, are drawn to. I think it's really pretty <laughs> it really is it lacks the depth once again I think Natasha really hit the nail on the head with adding that depth in there because that's an issue with a lot of palettes for a lot of people if it doesn't have a black and it doesn't have enough depth okay then they don't want it <laughs> but um, as far as the basic same feel and vibe I think nice affordable palette and I like this formula it's a little bit more textured and chunky to work with so you know some people might not like that but I like it <laughs> okay so I have another ColourPop palette you guys this is one of their little small ones that they came out with I have so many of these I love these little color stories this one is called a more and let me open it up so this is what this little color story looks like so as you can see it definitely has that feeling of love <laughs> um with the dusty rose the kind of magenta um what's the word i'm thinking of fuchsia yeah it kind of goes a little fuchsia down here but it still gives you like that dusty rose type feeling here you know if you don't like glitter then you, you know probably won't like this but it's a cute little five pan palette and I feel like you know if you like smaller palettes more affordable palettes and you don't need all of that extra fluff in there and this is kind of something that appeals to you then this is cute as well now you guys let's take a look at a couple of palettes that I always always forget about my Sephora Pro palettes okay <laughs> these palettes are super duper huge I love the way they feel with the matte black I went crazy when they were on sale and picked them up and quite honestly I'm really actually happy to have these in my collection they're great filler palettes and you know you can do a lot with these now this one is the cool palette and like I said these are their pro pigment pro pigment palettes so this one is the cool tone palette okay so when you look at this you definitely get that cool tone vibe you get um the gray tones in here along with like the burgundies dusty roses and pinks now this palette is this all matte no there's a few shimmers in here there's a few shimmers but this palette um 
doesn't really give you I would say the mauve feel I don't really get a mauve feel from this this palette if that makes sense I get more of the berry tones the cool tones the taupes grays stuff like that um, and not really the really pretty beautiful shimmers but you know if you already have this palette it might be something that you want to play with just to you know see if you even really like this vibe but yeah I always forget about this palette very cool tone but I think it would create a very beautiful eye look and then the other Sephora Pro palette that I have is this one here which is the new nudes and <laughs> this one is quite a bit brighter uh, warmer and has a little bit more color to it so you know looking at this palette as you can see you get that pop of fuchsia you do have some warmer tones in here but you do have some cooler tones as well so this palette once again you know these are pro palettes so they have a lot of fluff in them uh, a lot of shades that I would never even use quite honestly I would probably use this row right here <laughs> and maybe this shade here but yeah it's like this row right here is what my eyes are gravitating towards just because of what I'm looking for so you know the pinky tones the bricky browns um, burgundy gray you know just taupey type shades um, once again not an exact dupe like none of these are but still same type of vibe same type of feel now these palettes here these last three are really just like filler palettes for me like for certain shades when I look at this palette I see some really pretty what looks like silver tone I know you guys are getting a glare from my glasses what looks like kind of like silver tone or even taupey tone um, swatches uh, that beautiful it's just it's a lot going on I will give her that because it's like you get the burgundies you get the mauves you get the taupes you get the gray feels you get the you know just light dusty pinks it's a lot going on so it's a nice well-rounded palette man I still ain't buying it okay <laughs> but these are like filler palettes for like those filler shadows that you look and you're kind of like, well, what's that like dark gray type shimmer looking? What is that? You know, or what is that other, you know, kind of like deep, dark, dirty looking brown? You know, it's just filler palettes. So this one is a Lorac Pro Palette Noir. Okay, Noir. And this palette just has, as you can see, just beautiful, cool tone, um, gray tone, taupey tone, just, you know, you see it. So it's really like a filler palette, filler shades, beautiful type shimmers and mattes. This one even has like this really pretty, like bricky burgundy tone matte in here. Um, this really dark gray tone shimmer, really pretty. What is this? I just want to swatch a few of these so you guys can see what I mean by like the filler shades that you probably would not find in your, um, you know, mauve tone, burgundy tone palettes. But there are some of the shades that are in that Natasha Denona palette, and you like, I ain't got that. <laughs> You know, check out some of your other palettes. You never know. You might have some shades. You see that? You might have some shades that actually look like some of those swatches. Okay? So, yeah. These are like filler palettes. This one, definitely a good filler palette for that. Now, these other two, I don't know about, but I pulled them anyway. The Stone Cold Fox. You know, um, these palettes from ColourPop have like 100 shades in them. No, I'm just kidding. But they have like 30 shades in them. And it's like 30 shades of taupe and gray and dusty rose. You know, filler shades. I love this palette for that reason. It creates a beautiful eye look. I love the eye look that I created with this. Um, I never would have thought I, I would get that eye look out of this palette. 
but yeah you see here it has like the the strange taupey shades gray shades um just filler shades in my opinion that's what i call them filler shades and then the bare necessities so this one is the warmer tones um from this color pop palette if you have this and maybe you feel like you know one of those shades in the natasha denona palette like over in this area here is something that you are missing or lacking but you have this palette look at this this let me swatch that child that is gorgeous what is that silk teddy sheesh okay let me swatch a couple of these because these look really pretty they're kind of soft i think a lot of people don't really care for the sequins mattes you know the mattes that have a little bit of that it's not glitter it's a little shimmer you know little sequins or whatnot in there and a lot of people, you see, those are really pretty. A lot of people don't really care for those type of mattes. I love those type of mattes. Don't ask me why either, honey. I love them. <laughs> but anyways, so I just watched those three right there from the, what is that, the Bare Necessities? So yeah, you know, if you have some of these other filler type palettes from ColourPop and stuff, and you're kind of like, oh, that shade is pretty, that shade is unique, that shade is bomb from the Natasha Denona, you know, you might have a little doopy doop already, okay? So just check your stuff out and see before you go and drop your coin and when you really don't need to okay so <laughs> anyways that's it you guys that's my whole video i probably have some other palettes that would kind of give me the same feel i know i have some indie brands like some berry palettes and stuff like that that go a little more red or a little more purple and it's like you know i really didn't want to get that aggressive because then that's really getting away far away from the color scheme, the mauves, the burgundies, the taupes, the grays and stuff. I kind of want to at least try to stay in that same vibe. So anyway, that's it you guys. I hope you had fun looking at these palettes with me and just kind of saying, you know what girl, KK, you is a right. Okay, you is so right. <laughs> Hopefully you have fun. I did and as of right now, I'm not buying that palette. Now, when the holiday sales roll around, I can't make no promises, child. I can't make no promises. <laughs> but as of right now, your girl is good. So, yeah, that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, checking out this video. Let me know down in the comment section. Did you buy it already? You bought it already, huh? I know you did. You bought it. Let me know, though, if you're on the fence and this kind of helped to push you one way or the other. Because I might have convinced you that you do need the palette. Because I'm telling you, it's a very well-rounded palette. <laughs> so, anywho, that's it, you guys. I'm going to stop yakking. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, okay? Subscribe if you're not subscribed to your girl. And I will see you on the next one. Toodles!